Hello, my name is Lynn Antonopoulos, reporting for the RSNA Daily Bulletin. I'm here at RSNA 2019 with Dr. Anna Bader to discuss her research into cardiothoracic complications caused by opioid abuse. Dr. Bader, what are the most common th cardiothoracic complications that present in opioid users? Thank you so much for having me. So the major complications associated with opioid abuse include complications related to altered mental status and aspiration and to intravenous administration of opioids. So related to aspiration, we have aspiration pneumonia and aspirated foreign bodies within the lungs, which can cause um, respiratory distress and infection and potentially ARDS. Uh, when, when patients inject opioid opioids uh, intravenously without sterile technique, as it usually is, uh, we get uh, infectious complications through the bloodstream. So that includes septic emboli to the lungs, infective endocarditis, emboli to other parts of the body, including the uh, musculoskeletal system and abdominal organs. And how are these cases different from the typical presentations of some of the same conditions? So. Uh, in the opioid epidemic frequently affects patients that are younger than the usual hospitalized patient population that we see. Frequently, many of these complications can occur together rather than just, uh, rather than just aspiration pneumonia or septic emboli. Patients can have multiple complications at the same time. And finally, the distribution of, of uh, location of the complications is different in uh, IV drug users as opposed to the regular population. For example, infective endocarditis affects the right-sided valves as often as it does the left-sided valves in IV drug users, whereas in the general population, right-sided valves are only affected 10% of the time. Okay. And what should radiologists be paying attention to when an imaging patient is a known opioid user? Radiologists have to understand that there are so many possible complications of intravenous, intravenous drug abuse and opioid abuse. So radiologists have to, as we always do, but in particular in these patients, in addition to looking at the lungs and the heart, we have to see if we can see anything on the valves, even if it's not a cardiac study. We have to look at all of the bones very carefully and the joints very carefully, the soft tissues, and we have to look at the airways very carefully to see if there's any uh, aspiration or any foreign body within the airway. So it, it, we always look at everything, but in these cases, we just have to take extra special precautions into the areas that are, that are looked at more quickly on unusual patients. And we have to remember that many complications can occur at the same time. So just, if, just because we see one manifestation doesn't mean that others are not lurking on other parts of the exam. Okay. Well, thank you, Dr. Bader. This has thank been you. Lynn Antonopoulos reporting for the RSNA Daily Bulletin. You can find more RSNA 2019 news at meeting.rsna.org slash daily bulletin. Follow us all here at rsna.org slash news.